people tend to think that money and finance is this unemotional thing. That's actually not the case. It's deeply rooted in the traumas that have created the society that we continue to see inequalities prosper when we're trying to dismantle those systems. I'm Chloe McKenzie. I'm the founder and CEO of Black Femme. Black Femme is making communities better because we are implementing financial education five days a week as a core subject starting in elementary school so that black girls and girls of color have the skills, habits, and resources to build and sustain wealth. We've seen students perform better, it's a standard deviation in their math and English language arts test scores because they are receiving our curriculum five days a week. Even though we care most about closing the wealth gap for black women and girls, black feminist teaching tells us that if you liberate those who are at the bottom, you're actually liberating everybody. So we could do so in a way that takes this radical idea of closing the wealth gap for black girls and ensuring that all students who work with our curriculum are receiving financial literacy five days a week as a core subject during the school day. We typically see financial literacy happening after school, so you're only gonna reach a certain population. I wanted every single kid to get it every single day for at least 45 minutes, and that's what we're doing in school districts across the country. A lot of people heard it and it was like, uh... Like, what are we gonna teach kids that's in the second grade? Like, that's too much for them. Like, some teachers had that mindset and some was willing to embrace it. I just felt like I was willing to embrace it. Even if I got, you know, one or two kids to understand or, or just strike their interest, it was a success to me. School was everything to me. I'm not really sure why, but I've always just loved learning. I actually skipped two grades, so, you know, the kind of idea of being a nerd was something that I really took to heart and really embraced and enjoyed. For me, what I found to be so important to my trajectory and the work that I do in the world was the fact that I had an enabling environment. I had teachers who understood my passion for history and my passion for understanding and studying injustices. Today, we're here to talk about one of my former students, Chloe McKenzie. Chloe and I came to know each other when uh, she first entered in my previous high school, and she commanded my attention the moment I'd say I met her. She has always been passionate about what she believes in. I think I've always had this motto of service is how you heal. Well, Mr. McCluskey is actually one of the people who helped me understand that. Black Femme will be coming to this school. And of course, because Mr. McCluskey was the reason why I got into social justice, it's a big theme here in the school community. We are in Bethesda, Maryland, right outside Washington, D.C. We're here now because in my new role as a principal, I want to do some partnership with Chloe in her new role with Black Femme. The way that wealth was created in America was through stolen indigenous land and through black bodies. And so the fact that my body was a source of wealth, but that I didn't have any value inherently as a person is something that lives within us. Our education system is inadequately supporting certain groups of students as it is, black girls being one of them. And our schools also don't have this intention to set our students up for financial success. I see the work that Chloe is doing. She knows that this work in Black Femme is going to make a difference in the lives of young people. I think what's so great about the generation that's in high school right now is there's this very strong intention and rigor to be able to create a better world for themselves. And so we're really going to be identifying how financial activism can be something that the students here engage in and prepare to not only build wealth, but then use their financial activism at the same time to change our communities. The narratives that we're providing to students get them to think that they need to be on this journey or this pursuit for more above all else, rather than thinking about what is it that I really want and how do I fund that vision? And that's really what wealth is. <laughs>